Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you about material tracheitis energy. It's synonym in sedative tracheitis, membranous or pseudomembranous group, membranous laryngotracheobronchitis, membranous rock group. Confusing term overlapping much more common benign. Um, or viral flow. Later on, bacterial tracheitis is borderline infection of trachea. Result in sick adherent exudative plaque along trachea wall. Plaque can slot, leading to airway obstruction. Controversial disease, while in many cases with significant Mobility and motility have been confirmed. Question remain concern over diagnosis over treatment at some center. Most common signs and symptoms high grade fever, cough, severe stridor, wide chain, rapid onset of respiratory stress. Cough may be bulky, similar to viral group. Usually preceded by several day history of viral upper airway drug infection, low red fever, cough. Other signs and symptoms initial description reported patient as severely toxic in appearance. Many patients have only mild symptoms in more recent paper. Affected children have typically have more to handle oral secretion and tolerate soap-bound potion and like epiglottitis, rarely report of chronic form. Clinical profile. Pre-existing intubation or tracheotomy may be exposed to bacterial tracheitis. Presentation are more indolent. Increased poor respiration and requiring more frequent suctioning of airway. Decreased oxygen saturation. Most commonly developed four days after intubation within two billion percent in incident. Less predictable lower incident with long standing tracheotomy. Maybe precursor to pneumonia. Imaging characteristic diagnostic Radiographic finding, seen or sick, linear or erectural soft tissue feeling effect within airway, loss of smooth, very fine parallel tracheal wall, plus nodular plaque like erectility of wall. I see an tracheal column, symmetric or asymmetric subglottic narrowing in actually here, chart older than typically seen in white of group. First case, rather airway radiograph in a child retriever, the side also multiple erectual intraluminal filling effect, as well as tracheal erectility and moderate luminal narrowing consistent with exudative tracheitis. Another case, so mild generalized tracheal narrowing with sub and linear filling effect concerning for plaque pseudomembranous Exudative tracheitis was confirmed at laryngoscopy. Another lateral neck is ray, so a light intraluminal filling effect within a lower trachea consistent with several membranes of exudative tracheitis. AP radiograph so an exudated plaque along the right tracheal wall. Uh, 
after our photographs so of a large anterior trachea plug and shadow membranous RN. Treatment. If exudative tracheitis is suspected clinically, radiographically, child is usually evaluated with flexible alarm postcope. A trachea prevalent shadow membrane plug are confirmed with direct visualization patient undergoing deep conchoscopy with stripping of shadow membranes plus minus intubation. Multiple deprimen are usually not required. We intubate should last two weeks of ending, less frequently required in older children. Close monitoring is still necessary. IV antibiotic may be transitioned to oral antibiotic once cultures and activity return. Failure to respond completely to neurosemic epinephrine and corticosteroid is typical. Thank you.